northeast coast of Spain, the Mediterranean Sea collects the waters of the river with the greatest volume of water in all the Iberian Peninsula, the River Ebro. Year after year, thousands of tons of alluvial soil are transported by the river down to the estuary. Over the centuries, the sea has gradually lost ground and the original estuary has become a delta. Its privileged location at the halfway point on the migratory routes of European birds and the diversity of its ecosystems have made it a real natural paradise for birds, a magical place halfway between the land and the sea. The delta has been subject to human intervention since ancient times. Canals and irrigation channels were opened. Many natural ecosystems were converted into farmland. Year after year, the area untouched by human activity was reduced and nothing was done to stop it. It was not until 1983 that protective measures were finally taken. By this time, only 25% of this important natural area was still untouched. In order to guarantee its conservation, the Catalan regional government created the Ebro Delta Natural Park. After centuries of decline, this paradise could at last look to the future with hope. Human occupation of the area goes back to prehistoric times. Roman fleets fought it out with the Carthaginians off these coasts in the 3rd century BC. After them, Jews, Muslims and Christians came to live here and left their mark on local culture and traditions. The Muslims were the first to carry out small-scale agriculture. They built water wheels and irrigation channels and created the first permanent settlements in the Delta area. However, rice cultivation only became widespread with the construction of irrigation channels in 1860 and 1912. Since then, it has been the dominant agricultural crop in the Catalan wetlands. Rice, in fact, is still the most important crop for local farmers. In some cases, farming techniques and tools have remained unchanged despite the passing of time. At present, half the land is given over to rice fields and 25% is for fruit trees and vegetables. The only area not given over to farmland is the natural park itself. The generalization of this crop has had important consequences for local ecology. The first and most obvious consequence was the elimination of large tracts of reed beds which were made into farmland. Also, the rice fields have to be irrigated. To this end, there is a network of canals and irrigation channels which covers almost all the delta area. The enormous volume of fresh water that enters the wetlands makes the seawater recede and reduces the salinity level. This affects both the flora and fauna in these waters. For the majority of birds, however, the rice fields are a source of food and a safe place to shelter from the threat of predators. 
70% of the bird species of Spain can be found in the Ebro Delta. The variety of its ecosystems means that you can find typical coastal species, riverbank species, lake birds, and those that prefer terra firma. The most abundant are seabirds, but in the inland wetlands, the dominant birds are definitely the Anatidae or duck family.